Um, I just am picking up my camera. I'm so flustered right now. Me and my roommate about like two months ago applied to foster kittens just because we wanted some companionship and we're like, oh, kittens, whatever. We've been dying to get kittens, but we don't want to adopt. That's just irresponsible because we are kind of all over the place. So we're like for a few weeks at a time, we could foster to help kittens in need that are homeless. Well, I just received an email that they have two kittens available right now and I had to claim them right this second. So I'm emailing with a lady and I think I might be getting kittens today, me and my roommate. We have to bottle feed them. They're literally babies. I don't know if this is actually happening right now. Like I'm so confused. Confused. Am I about to get a cat? I wanted to vlog this in case it actually happens I feel like this is a monumental moment and I wanted to bring you with me while I get a kitten not one but two This is so exciting. They're only three weeks old only three weeks old I have no idea what they look like They were literally just born and they need a place to stay for a few weeks before they get adopted So I'll keep you updated if this actually happens. It's happening. It's really happening. Okay I got an email from them at 5 o'clock. It is 5 20 and we're picking up at 6 o'clock I have had no time to think. I've been waiting for this moment for months, but I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. So my friend is picking me up in literally 20 minutes. I'm about to scarf down dinner and then we're gonna head out. Okay, I'm walking to the car. I'm going to the shelter. It's only 10 minutes away. Picking up my roommate from work and then going straight there. I'm literally quaking. I'm so excited. We're at the animal shelter. And we're going in there to get it. Oh, they're coming. Look at the babies back so... here. You can't even see the black one. We're in the car. They're on my lap. But I can't, you can't even see them. But they're so, 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 so cute. Look at me. Okay, here's your bottle. Dude, you can't even see it. Stormy. Okay, you're good. Oh, oh it's cute. Oh, it's pawing for it. Hi, baby. Oh, I love you so much. I want to cry. <laughs> can't open yet. He's oh, so my God. oh my He's God. literally a baby. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so we just fed them. This is my little Draco baby. Look at him. Okay, it's like a few hours later now. Kittens are in their little beds, been sleeping for a while now. We have to feed them again in, in another hour and then we have to wake up every four hours throughout the night. So Kayla, my roommate, staked claim on the gray cat and named her Stormy. Stormy, rise and shine. And so now we have Draco and Stormy, snug as a bug in a rug in their little bed. Guess we'll be waking up like parents do throughout the night. <laughs> First shit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. It's the next day. It's been a long night, but they're getting so used to like being here now. So yesterday before this whole kitten situation happened, I actually ran to Target and I got another bookshelf. It's right here. And I have to build it because as you can see, I have quite the overflow going on over here. I have two stacks. I have all these books on top and it's just getting to be a lot. So I bought a whole other shelf. So I'm going to bob the builder that right now and then reorganize my entire bookshelf probably because I like keeping them separate books I've read versus books I haven't read but like it's like organized chaos so I'll just show you how I'm gonna reorganize it and stuff she's built that literally took me probably less than 10 minutes i didn't realize how easy it was gonna be now i'm gonna go check on the cats and then come back and set all this up okay here's little stormy she is the cutest thing here baby look oh she loves it oh look at her she's literally the most precious thing look at her paw <laughs> Good girl, are you all done? <laughs> okay, so that's one cat fed. Now I'm trying to get her used to the litter, the litter box, slowly but surely. Okay, now it's time to tackle this whole situation. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna add one of these shelves onto that side, add this shelf because it's the same as that one right here, and then have one of these on the other side of that so it's even. And then I might have to take all the books out and rearrange them because I don't know what order I wanna have them in. So this might be a whole process, but let's do it. took all my books off the shelf and this is actually highly concerning. I look like a hoarder. Let me show you this shit. Do you see how tall 
these mounds of books are and they're deep. They go all the way back. Oh, I'm literally a book hoarder. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to rearrange them. Hopefully there's room to spare when I'm done doing this so that I can keep getting new books as if I need more. One shelf is full and this one is similar to what I had before it has the Colleen Hoover books I've read and some other books that I love at the top and then these are just a bunch of standalones that I've read I put some duets right here I'm gonna fill this shelf with some more series right here I put some more standalones that I read I'm gonna fill that up and then over there is gonna be my TBR shelf so all books that I have that I haven't read yet are gonna go over there but I still have so many books to put away so I'm gonna move on to the series now I think Another shelf complete. This time we have a whole shelf full of series right here. I cannot even begin to explain to you how satisfying that was. Every book I have fits perfectly. There is not a gap of space in this whole shelf. Literally putting in the last book was the most satisfying thing. I don't know how this worked. Let me show you. Not a book got left out. Every single book has its exact own space and fits perfectly. How did I just manage to do that? Mirror in the middle. And now I'm going to put my stuff back on top. Now I don't have any books on top because they all fit perfectly in. But my plan is to take out books down here like my poetry books and start stacking those on top whenever I get more books and then I'll have an open shelf. Okay, this is what it's looking like with everything on top. I'm actually obsessed how it looks. I'm starting to have an actual library in here, which is totally fine by me. I had to rotate my desk, which is also fine by me because now it faces the window so I have direct lighting when I do my makeup instead of like side lighting. I love it. I'm gonna go eat dinner myself and probably play with my kitties now but this was very satisfying that's all i can say also look how many notes i have from you guys from my amazon wish list linked in the description all of your little notes i have sitting on top of my shelf look at them have their little play time that's their heating pad to keep them warm they just had a nice meal didn't you <laughs> they're so adorable i literally just want to stare at them all day Good morning, it's the next day and I'm up bright and early at 7 a.m. I just fed the kittens and now I'm gonna do my makeup because I'm going to do something very exciting. I have a tattoo appointment <sighs> and I'm not showing you what I get until I'm actually there and getting it. I'm getting multiple tattoos. They might, may or may not be bookish related. If you wanna see the tattoos I get, keep on watching. But for now, I'm doing my makeup and we'll be off. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys these roses I got. Look, they came in the mail and they're from Rose Forever and they sent them to me. How pretty are they? And it says they last up to a year. Thank you so much, Rose Forever. I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out so you can, but I'm literally obsessed. Come on. Okay, makeup done, hair done. I'm just wearing a basic black tank top and black shorts, but I'm leaving now and I'm so 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 excited And I'll talk to you when I'm there or I'll show you. I might not talk because I'll be awkward So I might just show you. Oh, hey Harry photo bombing I'll be fine <laughs> My other leg is like shaking oh Okay, I'm home now and I wanted to do like a follow-up of what just happened because I filmed stuff while I was there on my phone Basically, it's like a traveling tattoo artist came to my friend's place and was tattooing people and I got two So first, well actually I got this one second, but I'm showing you first. I got this peace sign. Can you see this? Very basic, but has a lot of meaning to me My favorite Taylor Swift song or one of my favorite songs of all time is called peace I really really love it and it really resonates with me and it's one of my favorite songs of all time The entire song is about not being able to bring people peace and I kind of really 
I wanted it on my body. So I got a little finger tattoo right there next to my other tattoo on that side. It's gonna fade a lot. Like this one I got a year ago and it's already faded a lot, but I like how it looks better faded. So it will fade a lot, but that's what it looks like right now. And then my favorite, favorite, my new favorite tattoo I got. Let's bring you down here. I have to show you my foot, which is kind of gross, but excuse the ink all over my foot, but that is my rose lily and daisy tattoo they're the three sisters the callaway sisters from my favorite books of all time so i knew i needed to get a tattoo dedicated to them and i've been planning on doing it for like a year because each of those characters in that series the series as a whole is my favorite of all time for so many reasons but each individual character i learned so much from and i feel like i took a part of each of them and like put it into my personality and i literally think about them every single day it's perfect because all of their names are flower names so i could just get the flowers and that's exactly what i did and i got it on my foot ankle area and it came out so cute and i'm so obsessed with it and i'm so glad that i got it those are the two that i got today now i want even more tattoos are so addictive but i like having like really tiny ones where you can't really see them like in between my fingers or on my feet or places that are covered by clothes i don't know but yeah i'm like obsessed with how they turned out and i'm so happy but yeah now i'm gonna go feed the kitties okay i'm out here sitting with the little babies look at him and i think i'm going to end the vlog here why are you squeaking? Come here. Look at her. Thank you so much for watching the past few days and watching me get cats, get tattoos, build a bookshelf and reorganize. I did a lot this weekend. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.